Let's explore how we can quickly and efficiently work with files and folders in VS Code. We will be able to create files and folders from any place in VS Code by using keyboard shortcuts. Besides file creation, we can quickly perform other common operations when working with files, such as making copy of files, removing files, renaming files, and so on. We can even create several folders at once and several files into each of those newly created folders with a single operation, and all of that we will be able to do by using only keyboard shortcuts. So in this lesson we're gonna explore how we can do so step by step. Let's get started. We're going to need additional extension called File Utils, so let's go ahead, find this extension and install it. I already have it installed, and this extension provides us with several commands in Common Palette. So let's open up Common Palette by pressing Command Shift P or on Windows Control Shift P, and if we'll start writing extension name, which is File Utils, we'll see the list of all available commands provided by File Utils extension. Of course, this is not the most efficient way to execute those commands from within the common palette, so I'm going to assign keyboard shortcut to each command. Let's open up keyboard shortcut preferences by running keyboard shortcuts command inside common palette. And let's find keyboard shortcuts related to file utils extension. Here is the full list of commands. As you can see, I have already assigned keyboard shortcuts to every command. So to assign keyboard shortcuts to any command, you just double click on the command and press desired keyboard shortcut and then press enter and the new keyboard shortcut will be assigned. And right after you will do that, all those keyboard shortcuts will be saved in the keybindings.json file that can be opened by using command palette if we'll execute keyboard shortcuts json command. This is the file which stores all keyboard shortcut configurations in VS Code, and at the very bottom you will see all those keyboard shortcuts that you will define for file utils commands. I'm also going to leave a link to the repository where you can find my keyboard shortcuts for file utils extension. I have chosen such keyboard shortcuts that I can reach very easily without moving my hand off from the standard position for typing, and I use QWERTY keyboard layout. We'll start with file creation, so if we need to quickly create new file, starting from the location of the currently open file, I'm going to press Option, comma, keyboard shortcut. By the way, Option key is same as Alt key on Windows. And after pressing this shortcut, we can choose the folder where we'd like the new file to be created. And after pressing Enter, we can further type location for the new file along with the file name. And there we go, the new file icons copy has been created right next to the original file. Now I will press the same shortcut option comma to create new file, but this time, besides specifying the name of the new file, I'm also going to specify new folder, and this way new file will be created along with a new folder. As you can see right here, the folder with a new folder name has been created, with one file within it. To create new folder I use the shortcut alt dot. Here I'll just have to type in the new folder name, press enter, and I will get new folder. And this is how we can quickly create new folders and files from the location of the currently open file, but what if we're not gonna have any files open? In this case we're gonna call another command to create new file starting from the project root. I use alt m. In here let's type in the path to the new file, press enter, and the file will be created. Same goes with folders, to create new folder starting from the project root, I'm gonna press alt slash. I can firstly choose the folder which is present in the project root, and then I can specify additional folders to create. So I have created the folder with the name new folder, which is located inside of public folder. Next let's take a look how we can quickly duplicate open files. Let's say I would like to duplicate this file time.ts. I will press Alt C, which stands for copy. Here I can rename the new copy, press Enter, and the new copy will be created with the specified name right next to the original file. But actually, you are not limited to create copies at the same folder 
where the original file is, because you can specify absolutely any path where you would like the new copy to be created. In this case, I'm saying that I need new file to be created at the project root with a name time copy. Alright, cool. Now let's see how we can remove files. I'm gonna make a copy of file time.ts once again by pressing Alt C. And now to remove any currently open file, I'm going to use Alt D, which stands for delete. And the file that is currently open will be removed. In a similar fashion, we can also move files around. For example, I would like to move this file time.ts in a different folder. To move the file, I'm going to press Ctrl Alt M. Here I will specify new location and the file will be moved after pressing Enter. Let's move it back once again by pressing Ctrl Alt M and specify the previous location. And let's also take a look at one more command to easily rename files. To rename the file, I use Alt R, which stands for rename. After pressing this shortcut, we can type new file name and it will be renamed after pressing enter. One more time, I will press Alt R and specify another name. Press enter and that's it, the file was renamed. And by the way, we can also create similar folders and files by using only one command. So I'm going to press Alt M to create new file starting from the project root. And then if we're going to use special notation while specifying the path to the new file, such as these curly braces, by specifying such folder name, I'm gonna get three folders being created at once with names folder A, folder B, and folder C. And if additionally I'm going to specify file name also by using special notation with curly braces, I'm going to get two files with names index.html and index.css being created into each of those newly created folders. So in total, after executing this command, we're gonna get six files and three folders being created. Let's check it out. I'm gonna open up source folder and as you can see the three folders, folder A, folder B and folder C was added into this folder and each of those folder has two files, just like we have specified before. And this is how we can quickly and efficiently manage files and folders in VS Code, only with keyboard shortcuts by using file utils extension. The link to the repository with my key bindings configurations for file utils extension will be in the video description.